Hi Sagittarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and uh, welcome back to the channel. And this is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of March 2020. I'm using the charms and I'm using the crystal ball and I'm using the House of Shadows, the Lenormand deck and the Wildwood Tarot. And that is what the reading will consist out of. There's loads of information down below the video in the description box. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell then uh, you'll be notified when I go live and you this channel will be saved in your library and you can find us back much easier. Also you can just hit that little white circle here and that will take you up to the um, website Charlie's Angel tarot.com and there you can also see nice things like uh, readings on offer and I've got different types of readings and there's also uh, the reviews on the decks that I do and other bits and bobs. Um, uh, I am uh, getting busier and the family is growing rapidly thank you very much I'm really pleased that you are enjoying the readings and s staying faithful to me and you're the cyber angels thank you very much for coming back I do appreciate it to, when we work together we make the channel without you I couldn't do this and there's other new developments uh, also I'm collaborating with other readers and also with other channel channels and we're doing a series with a, a Dutch witch a real Dutch witch she's called Wendy we're finding out what symbols mean we're discussing the deck which is Oracle and we're also finding out um, this, what the signs mean and uh, everything like that it's interesting I had a lot of reactions positive reactions on that so I'll be will be carrying on we enjoyed it both it will be a video because we can't do split screens anymore um, on Facebook otherwise we would have done it on Facebook and uh, YouTube hasn't got it on offer but I have to do some technical things so I'm busy with that because I would love to uh, collaborate with others and have double screens okay now I'm going to do the charms first and I'm going to see what will come out of the charms now I will think I'll take the beads out I haven't done that I'm going to try it with you um, because I, I can't get hold of the charms okay I'm not looking I'm really rummaging around okay let's have a look Wow uh, shall I do some more everybody had a quite a few okay that anchor has come out in every reading except for one okay you've got the star so a wish or a goal is coming true you're in the spotlight Ooh, you've got the anchor now the anchor means yes you're coming home to a safe haven and you've put your anchor down but it also reminds me of that charm hope faith and love right you've got the little ring that could be the ring like the heart because we haven't got the heart here um, in the charm so that could be um, getting married or uh, partnering up then you've got the ank right the cross the the Egyptian cross that means good luck and you've got the anchor so that is coming home the anchor represents home the cross means faith and the heart meant love I hope, uh, hope love. yeah I think the heart is hope that's it and love hope and love it's called um, hope uh, faith and love okay then you've got the key then you've got the key you are holding the key to open the door to positivity negativity we'll see what the cards say you've got the butterfly you're in a transformation transformation transforming 
into a butterfly, into a beautiful. You're closing, you're no longer the caterpillar. You're going into a new phase and then you've got the masculine sign and you're the first sign that's got the guitar. Now, which um, bead will you have? Which bead will you have? Okay, you've got the red bead. You are grounded root. Red is Archangel Uriel. Amazing. Now let's have a look what the crystal ball is saying. I'm doing the crystal ball reading a little bit earlier in the day because the daylight is going again and I want it to be really beautiful. The daylight is just here but I've still got the lights on. Okay. Woohoo. Crystal, crystal ball, tell me what um, everything and all. <laughs> I just had to say that. I don't know why. I've got Snow White in the brain. Wow, you've got the anchor here as well, or an arrow. An anchor and an arrow. That is what I'm seeing. The anchor. So you've got the anchor as the charm as well, Sagittarius. I'm also seeing two, two, the figure two, and I'm also seeing a, somebody swimming. I see the letter two and swimming, swimming. What is swimming? How does it resonate with you there? Let me know. Are you scuba diving, taking swimming lessons? I also feel as if your mind is clouded. I get a headache. I'm getting a headache. Do you suffer from headaches? I would say go to the doctor. Headache. Yeah. You have to take more rest. Take it easy. Take it easy, please. Take rest. Take a, a rest. I hope you can still see it. I'm seeing the letter A. I'm seeing the letter A. 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 Come on, come on. Show me more. Show me more. Okay. I'm also seeing a leather ladder. Ladder. It's lying on its back, but I suppose that depends on how you turn the uh, crystal ball. And I'm also seeing an aeroplane. I'm also seeing an aeroplane. So you might be planning a holiday. So that's a ladder. Are you climbing the ladder? Ooh, aeroplane. Perhaps you might have, and perhaps you're planning a holiday or doing a business trip. Okay. Well, Sagittarius, I hope you stay with me while going on to the cards, my sweetie. Okay, so take care. Just bear. Hi, Sagittarius. I'm, we're going to do the cards now. And I had to stop because uh, Brenda went out live. And so I'm helping her as well. 
she's one of my moderators and this is the first card and this is the lovers the forest lovers okay this is the next card you've got the nine of arrows that's the nine of swords I hope you can see that then that's Wednesday there's one sticking out and then you've got the world the world something is coming around full circle an ending of a phase a new beginning okay and then you've got judgment judgment I hope you can see it okay and let's have a look at the bottom of the card perhaps you can see them better like this and you've got the king of arrows the king of arrows that's the kingfisher that's the king of swords and now we're going to the house of shadows the house of shadows and you've got the brooms the brooms clearing up away old rubbish spring cleaning and arguments okay disagreements this one is flipping so I'm taking that one you've got the fox he's come out quite a bit today and then you have the ring the ring I love this deck because it reminds me of the Adams family and you've got the child you've got the child okay and at the bottom of the deck you've got the dog now I'm not uh, hang on a minute I had to keep a list for Brenda okay Sedge uh, she had so many people in the room Wow uh, let's get to this reading first of all you've got the lovers and the lovers the forest lovers means that you are forming partnerships either in love or in work you might be meeting your soulmate a Gemini because Gem the lovers stand for Gemini because that's the big arcana you might have a disagreement with somebody this could be with your soulmate <laughs> okay and even the cat's got a broom I love this the humor in this so be careful of um, arguments or disagreements because that's what the broom means but it means also clearing the air perhaps with your soulmate okay make a room and clear the air you've got number 11 so you've got an angel number a doorway a new beginning perhaps going uh, up to a new level with your soulmate or partner and then you've got the nine of arrows dedication dedication yes that is dedication but you have been or going through a, a, a hard time a tough time and you have persevered you are dedicated to your goal an end of a phase a new beginning Wow yes you do have the key so you have the key not to um, to open a door to positivity and to love okay you are transforming you've got the butterfly so you can open that door to that new beginning uh, you might have sleepless nights with the arrows the nine of arrows give your stress or your issues over to the universe and to the angels you've got Archangel Uriel so ask him to ground you and protect you stay dedicated don't give up okay you're nearly there there's a new beginning there might be somebody around you that's wearing a false mask because you've got the fox very sly people slippery people okay so watch out for mean people or very conniving people analytical people this could also be a boss because it's also the work card he might be keeping an eye on you secretively that's why he's wearing the mask uh, perhaps this could be a promotion and evaluation 
Okay, coming up. So be analytical, just like him. Cross your T's and dot your I's. Meet the deadlines. Perhaps you might be worried about that and it's giving you sleepless nights because work is really tough. Okay, you are in the spotlight. You've got the sun, so somebody has got an eye on you. Remember, a fox sheds his fur, but not its streaks. Okay. Then you have the world, and we did see uh, swimming in the crystal ball, and that you were having headaches, so perhaps you need more rest. Okay. And, um, like I said, a promotion. I saw a, l a ladder in the... <coughs> crystal ball so perhaps you are striving to climb up we've got the world here and and this is my karma card and that means what well, if you've done good you'll get it back threefold so the um, promotion is could be imminent going up a next level something coming to an end and um, new beginnings again you might be going on holiday I did see an aeroplane in the crystal ball, so you might be flying away after the coronavirus or planning a holiday. You might be moving home. Wow. You've got a ring, so you've got the lovers, so you might even get a proposal because the world also means a proposal giving going up a next level in your relationship. You might be getting married, forming partnerships, either in love <coughs> or in business. Number seven, luck is on your side. You've got judgment, new beginnings, second chances. Because it's in the traditional deck, it's Archangel Gabriel blowing life into the rising dead. To me, that means a second chance. But it means new beginnings. Don't have your head in the air. Don't. <laughs> I love this. You've got the child. Be more playful. Okay, don't be too serious. There could be a birth of a child or a project. New beginning. Thirteen is fellowship in the I Ching. Okay, but don't have your head in the clouds. You might be ecstatic about this new beginning and this new relationship or the, this relationship that goes up a level. So be warned, somebody's wearing a mask. Okay, could be negative, could be positive. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the dog. <laughs> the dog is tied onto a centipede or um, a beetle. <laughs> and he's already taking his mask off here, okay? A dog is wearing, a centipede is wearing a dog's mask. Somebody's holding on to you. So, you know, be playful, be warned. But uh, the dog me usually means basically a loyal and trusty friend. Perhaps you didn't um, realize that a friend was so loyal and trustworthy. Now they're taking, they were wearing a, a mask. They were being brave. Now they're showing their inner selves. They're coming out of their shell. Okay, you've got the King of Arrows, and that's the Kingfisher. That's the uh, King of Swords. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian. That's helping you to get clarification. Or you might be meeting them, okay? A fellow air sign. Wow, now let's have a look. We've got the aeroplane, so that's all, also air. There might be travel by air. Something will become clear to you. Um, you, uh, poor Sagittarius. There could be an air sign male in your vicinity that might like to partner up with you. You might be very excited about this. Give your problems and issues, your worries to the universe. You are in the limelight, so you've got a lot of attention from people. The star. The star is also a spotlight, like the moon and the sun. There are issues at hand that you don't know about, okay? That could be people that are wearing a mask. So you need more information. You feel safe where you are at the moment. If you've got a question, am I going to get married? The answer is yes, because the answer for the anchor is yes. Okay? Have faith and hope. You hold the key. 
you hold the key you can open the doors to positivity and to negativity you've got the butterfly the butterfly means you are becoming a butterfly you're in a transformational period an ending a new beginning a new beginning a second chance wow uh, perhaps a new beginning in a relationship a second chance in a relationship amazing with a man and sweet music you might be listening to music much more often now you might be making music uh, it sounds like sweet music ooh my knees are all going gooey okay but you are earth so stay with the program and give it to the angels I hope you've enjoyed this reading my sweeties and I do appreciate it if you like it and share it with family and friends and I hope to see you in the live sessions and if not I hope to see you in the next video take care and be blessed please give us the thumbs up ciao ciao